Well, we know that women remain under-recognized in leadership positions in clinical trials. So that's been an area of emphasis because there have been interesting studies to suggest that when you have women in leadership roles within clinical trials, that it actually also translates down to the enrollment of a diverse patient population. We know that women are also more likely to be enrolled and that that um, type of emphasis on, on diverse enrollment um, can sometimes be more prioritized. So fortunately, it's been an evolving landscape. Um, and I think that there are many more opportunities for women as clinical trial leaders um, that are continuing to evolve. One area that continues to interest me is, is the optimized treatment with antiplatelet therapy for patients after an acute coronary syndrome. For so many years, we've been adding on therapies, and I think it's very exciting to think about which therapies can now be discontinued um, relatively more safely. Um, and so the concept of dropping aspirin has been one um, that has continued to intrigue me, and I know that we have data that are continuing to, to grow in this space. Um, so that's another area to stay tuned.